Hello guys, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be discussing how to work with parameters in a report and publish the same report in Jasper server and make the report dynamic in Jasper server as well. So for this, uh, if you are watching this video from the first place, so for the first tutorial, so you might be familiar with this report what I have created. So this report is not dynamic. This is simply working with a query saying select star from invoice where payment mode equals cash so i'll just go to my console of h2 database okay you are disabled one second yes so i'm going to connect with my h2 database sorry remote connections with all of others are disabled on the servers one second yeah i'm connected to my console so i'll just go to my invoice and i'm going to filter this with it invoice number so i'll just make it uh, where invoice number is equals to I and B one two three four one. I will just check it. Okay, so I think I only have one row for invoice number two. Yes, that's correct. So I'll just add this to my SQL server. Sorry, to my data set and rate fields. So I'll just run this report. So I only had one row here. So I'll try to add a parameter here. I click create parameter. So I'll just make it invoice number and I'll make it Java string. And default value expression I'll just put the same value which is INV002 so I'll just put it INV1242 okay so we'll see how it works let me run and for one I'll just check okay i'm sorry i have actually forgot to make this query dynamic so it is still working statically so i'm going to remove this and in the parameters i'll just drag and drop this here and click on ok now we'll see what happens so if i go with one this works fine now if i go with two it will only show us one okay so this is it guys so i'm going to publish the same report so we already have the report and server so this runs without any parameter which we already published in our second tutorial so i'm just going to click on this report you can see there is no parameter the report runs directly with invoice one inv001 okay now i'll just go to my studio and click on publish and so it's going to take the same directory my reports so this this is the same which i have assigned for the report description and name label in the second tutorial if you go and watch it it will be easy for you guys to understand this so i'll just click on next so so here we have created the parameter new right so that is the reason it's saying override yes so what is override if you're trying to publish this report for the second i'm just saying in the first report there was no parameter so I, after me adding the report for the first time it's okay to go with override but if you're trying to publish the report third time once you already have parameter in the report you can simply ignore it you don't need to override the parameter 
okay so that is the best practice you can do it just go with next and you can just consider this so this is h2db server if you watch my third tutorial uh, how to create data source connection i have explained how to do this in jasper server so i'm just going to work with finish So report is published successfully. Now we'll just go to our server and just I'll go back. I'll refresh the page. So I'm just going to click on the report. Now you can see it asks us with the parameter because we have overrided the parameter on the report right so it must ask the parameter now yes so i'm just click, going to click on ok this is working fine or you can change it with one here and click on ok so this shows so much of that now we'll go with some other things so this was a parameter which was published from the studio but what if you want to create your own input control and assign the input control to your report uh, we will work with that how it's going to work okay now i'll just create a folder so there is no folder saying in, okay this is the folder which i have already created so i'm going to delete this so i'm going to delete this as well so so by default you don't have any folder like saying input control you have to create a folder one second so add folder just write it input controls and just go with the name this as custom controls and your world is okay so input controls i'm just going to right click on it go to add resource click on input control so it's just you go with the inputs what it's asking so this is single value yes so prompt text will be so what do you want to say your parameter to be just i would like to show like uh, enter invoice number this number okay and this is very important what is the parameter name so you can simply see on this top if you go for this enter invoice number this label is displayed to users next to the input control so this can be anything but the parameter value must match the same name of the parameter in your report so what is the parameter name in our report so in the studio if you go so invoice number is the parameter name so i'm just going to copy this and go to sir go to server and i'll just paste the same name here okay and you can make it mandatory if you if you want to run that report with any specific value you can make this mandatory or else you can go with the default settings just click on next you can even add some description to just let you know what this parameter will support so i'll just say the custom parameter custom parameter so next so just simply go with next so this can be anything but you will still give some name to this I'll just say invoice number and for a good practice you make the same invoice number here which is same as in your report Jasper server so this is text so you don't need to give any pattern for this if you are going with some kind of date parameter will work parameters in upcoming tutorials just go with the invoice number so it is saying required just make it invoice number and save it now so we have created a parameter saying enter invoice number 
now I'll go to my reports so if I click on edit and you can see to the left there are controls and resources so this is the invoice number which was published from the Jasper server sorry Jasper studio so it was asking us to override it right so this was the same parameter which, uh, when we were trying to publish from the studio so I'm going to delete this parameter and I'll try to add an input control and select from the repository click on rows so I have created a folder input controls so you can see uh, we have created the in the invoice number select right just click on next so you can see this input control is coming from the Jasper server so folder name input control and invoice number submitted now we will see how the report works with the server para server input control yes so it is showing this text that means we are true I'll just click on ok so I'll try to again run with another invoice number one okay so that's it that means a report is working fine without any problem so this is it guys so this way you can go create input controls in your server and you can set parameters or filters for your reports so in the next video we'll be discussing how to add an image to your report and publish the image from studio to server let's see how it works so thank you guys thank you for watching